Look closer. Look closer. Under close vision there exists no background, plane, concrete or frame of reference. The relationship of the part to the whole is consistently questioned, resulting in considerable dislocation. Under such an assumption, scale distorts and references disappear, leaving a landscape of uncertain origin. At 10 centimeters away, the world simultaneously falls apart and unfolds. Funny that from far away that people look like ants, but from up close, ants look like people, and act like them, too. Or these ants, or people. Or these ants, or people. Ants, people. Ants, people. Ants, people. I can never tell. Actually, it looks more like modern art to me. Just about everything looks like modern art when you look at it through a camera from six inches away. Even a grocery store statue of Jack Daniels assumes great stature if you get close enough. What does this mean? I have no more idea than you do, except there's a point here somewhere. It's rather ironic that someone thought that this bench of us was the World Trade Center. I think nowadays if you look close enough, you can see anything in anything else, like the Holy Virgin in my cat's fur. I'm sure that somewhere in rural Montana that someone is obsessively sculpting the World Trade Center in mashed potatoes like Richard Dreyfuss in Close Encounters. But that's the way things are now. If you look closely enough you can see almost anything. Except for clouds. If you get too close to them, they disappear. Much like when you climb a mountain, the thing you see when you reach the summit is where the next one lies. The large tends to disappear when you get too close, and the small becomes monumental. Perhaps that's where the whole business with the mohim came from. Or in this case, perhaps an ant hill. At these perspectives, a stick from an ice cream bar can be a cenotaph, and the ant hill is a suitable location for a ski resort. Texts become monuments, and dominus become monoliths. But combining computers with monoliths usually results with computers that won't let you back in the house. Open the garage door, pal. I am afraid I can't do that. Oh, come on, please. Please, please, please. No freaking way. See what I mean? When you look at increasing levels of detail, reality resembles itself from planets to atoms, to varying levels of code. The fractal nature of existence becomes evident. Strange thing that even at 5 inches tall, I still look roughly the same. It's just a matter of perspective. Reality can transform when your point of view changes. The sense of the world is so fragile that it can dissolve when one gets a bit closer. Sans people. Sans people. Sans people. I can never tell.